Hello, my name is Nathan Levartovsky. I'm from France. Uh, I work in a freezing company. It's uh, not uh, the reason of uh, my visit here. I came here for uh, nature photography. Uh, my hobby is uh, uh, nature photography and um, I come here uh, because the wildlife is so nice. I mean, you have so many animals, they are not so shy, so you can make nice picture. Uh, of their behavior, you can observe them in uh, their natural habitat, and uh, it's uh, nice because in France, you know, I make picture of uh, the wildlife all around my city, next to Paris. So it's a place where you have a lot of people, and um, it's it's so different from here. Uh, so I came here for uh, th uh, the third time, and uh, uh, the picture I will show you. Uh, from the second uh, visit. I came here the first time in 2009. It was a small trip, I mean one week, and uh, it was the reason I fell in love with uh, uh, the Bering Island. And uh, so uh, I told myself I want to come back. And I went, uh, when I came back, I came back for as long as possible. So I came back for two years and it was, uh, two months I mean, and it was two years ago. And uh, here we are in the natural reserve of uh, Komandorsky Island, and I will uh, show you all the pictures. Here we have uh, ptarmigan. Uh, in fact, uh, in France, we have this species, and uh, it's uh, funny because they are very, very uncommon. So I was very happy to see some on Bering Island. And uh, this picture, I did this uh, on the first day of my travel. And um, it was so strange because I was walking in the tundra and uh, it was quite hard walk. So I just stopped and this ptarmigan came to me and was uh, making the mating uh, call. And uh, I was lucky to make this picture because it was so unexpected. And uh, that's also another rule of nature photography. I mean, you, can't, you don't know what will happen. Uh, for this picture of a uh, Pacific uh, puffin, uh, a, a hornet puffin, uh, I was uh, on top of the rockery, the Western Seal rockery. And uh, it's uh, something I really wanted to make. I mean, a picture of... Uh, uh, this uh, bird uh, flying in control light and uh, to make this you have to practice again again and again it's um, the camera uh, you have to frame it perfectly you have to uh, try a, a lot of times to have uh, the good condition because uh, a bird flying in this position uh, with the uh, sun flares right behind it's a kind of luck, but if you practice a lot and if you stay a lot for a long time, uh, it's not luck. It's um, your way to improve your chances to make the picture you want. Here we have a uh, seal females, a group a pack of seal females uh, sleeping uh, in the rockery. It was on the Western Seal Rockery. And um, in fact, uh, in this place, the point of view is very high. You can't uh, be as low as possible to the ground to have a nice uh, uh, depth, depth of field. And uh, I was trying to find a way to photograph them. And I stayed for a long time trying to, to think about a good uh, framing. And in fact, uh, after time, I found to this idea. I mean, there were so many of them all packed together and uh, I try to find one position where you have the head and all the other making the picture. So the framing is a pack of all the fossils I found. For this picture of uh, this arctic fox, I was uh, walking uh, on the observatory uh, of the northern uh, fossil uh, rockery. And uh, it's a nice place because you can hide from the fossils and you can observe their behavior. And uh, there were so many of them, and you have uh, many dead uh, remains, uh, remains of uh, dead uh, fossils. 
and it's a nice place for the fox so they can find food easily. In fact, I was w watching at uh, all the fossils and this fox came in front of me. And this picture is pure luck. I mean, watching this uh, fox exactly like a kiss of uh, a, a dead remain was very, very lucky experience. And it's another part of nature photography. Sometimes you have to, to be lucky to make a good picture. So here we have uh, Arctic fox uh, pup. Uh, it was uh, maybe his first or second day uh, out of his den. Uh, I was lucky because uh, in the morning, in the morning, I waited for maybe three or four hours in the tundra. It was good because uh, tundra is comfortable place to rest. I mean, it's uh, not too uh, hard, and uh, I was uh, losing hope. And uh, in the end. Uh, uh, one of the pup uh, came out and uh, he was not very shy. So I was able to make many shots of him sleeping, walking in the tundra. I was very lucky, but I think that it's a good uh, rule about uh, nature photography. You have to be patient. For this picture of uh, a ptarmigan, I was uh, very lucky because, uh, as I said, uh, uh, weather can be very bad uh, for a long period of time on Bering Island and as I was visiting only for a short period I experienced, I experienced only a few days of sunset and for this picture I was running uh, trying to go to see the fox uh, and I found this ptarmigan. It was a lucky, a lucky observation but uh, it was great because as I uh, said to make the picture as pure as possible, you stay as low to the ground to have great depth of uh, field and uh, using only small um, element to add to the picture. So uh, it was, it's not the sunset, this it's only um, reflection of the sun on the water and uh, you have only the silhouette of the bird. And it makes the picture very simple, but I think it's very effective. For this picture of uh, an Arctic fox, uh, I wanted to make the picture as pure as possible. And a way to do this is to use uh, contra light. I mean, only the sun and the silhouette. And um, for this, this fox, I, it was very nice because um, you don't have a lot of good sunset in the summer period. Uh, I mean, when I was visiting Bering Island, I did uh, experience only a few of them. And uh, this time, I was so happy about this uh, sunset that I was sure I wanted to visit this den. And uh, that's a good thing, because if you know your subject, if you know where he will come, uh, you will have a good opportunity to make uh, this kind of picture. And it's what I did. I uh, waited for the sunset and I just uh, uh, made this picture in front of his den. And uh, in fact, if you can uh, observe, uh, you have a small um, square of uh, uh, his uh, lip and uh, it was uh, something very uh, special. And uh, I made this picture two years ago. The good thing is during my visit uh, this time, I was able to see him again because I was uh, recognizing him because of this car. And it's something very interesting to see that uh, they can live for not a long time, but il enough to see them for two different travels. So for this picture of uh, a leather sand uh, pullover, I was going to photograph uh, the picture of the, uh, I mean, the salmons. Uh, near the waterfall where they are jumping. So on my way, I was walking near the airport and uh, this uh, individual came to me and um, I was sure it was because he has his nest near to the place. So I didn't want to stay for a long time. I just uh, stay as low as possible. I went completely uh, on the ground and it was, I think, a surprise to him because he came very, very close. That's uh, w when you're so low to the ground, you have only a thin surface. And I think that it makes the picture more beautiful to stay uh, at the same uh, level uh, uh, of your subject.
And uh, after some time, he went away. So it was a nice uh, visit. He came to me, I made some picture, and he went away. So for this picture of uh, these uh, salmons uh, underwater, uh, as I visited the island uh, a long time ago, I knew that it was possible to make a picture of uh, the salmons underwater. So before the travel, I tried to find a way to make underwater photography, uh, as I was not um, used to make this kind of picture. My camera was not waterproof, so I found a small uh, Olympus camera, very small one, tiny, light, and I bring it with me. So I tried uh, in many places to find a way to make underwater pictures, and uh, I found this near a waterfall. That's why you have all the bubbles all around, and it makes the picture more powerful, I mean. Uh, you have all the salmons waiting to try to jump, and um, these bubbles all around making the picture more uh, striking. So here you, we have uh, two salmons uh, jumping out of a uh, waterfall. Uh, you have many waterfalls uh, here around Bering Island, but very few uh, where you can see salmon jumping. So I went to this place, I slept there for two nights. I wanted so much to make picture of salmon jumpings, but I was lucky this time to see two salmon jumping at the same time. And you can see that they are watching at the waterfall. So I found this picture funny. For this picture of a waterfall, um, I wanted to use uh, some uh, uh, shutter uh, tricks to make the picture more uh, good looking, I mean. Uh, it was very dark uh, and I used a long exposure to make uh, you know, all the water uh, falling out of the waterfall blurry and uh, it makes this uh, strange uh, cloudy effect and uh, I think that it's very nice effect. It's a photographic trick I would say. And it's another uh, nice picture because I can show you where I did the picture of the salmons. The jumping salmon. So this picture was uh, where the uh, picture, the salmon were jumping from here. So I just had to wait, it, uh, to wait for uh, them jumping out of this. And the picture of the salmon underwater was from here. I was standing here, <laughs> soaked with water, and uh, my hands were uh, uh, on the ground here. And uh, in fact, it's uh, also a good thing because I can say that without uh, reserve and without uh, preservation of the wildlife, you will have no uh, photograph to make. I mean, uh, thanks to the natural reserve, we have uh, nature to observe.